Well, thank you very much for coming today for the big uh, show at the Copper Box Arena, 21st of December, the fight before Christmas, 12 months ago. It was a, a sensational fight we were talking about up in Manchester, and hopefully it's going to be a, a similarly dramatic show, Frank. Well, I hope so. There's some good fights on there. Obviously, uh, we can kind of be with the press with uh, Daniel afterwards, but. Um, We've got some of the best British talent, and Queensbury, as you know, are really interesting developing British fighters. That's the name of the game for us. And uh, to the man to my left now, who's uh, well, not as a fighter, I mean, we, we rate him very much as a fighter, but uh, he's, he's sort of transcended the sport now. He's on the news pages, and uh, he's been saying he's third fight on the same card. So, Tommy, you know, Tommy, everyone on the show. Third professional fight, two wins so far. You've had your uh, spell on Love Island, and uh, your lovely lady here today it was uh, a bit of a success for you, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. I just want to take the time out to thank everybody for turning up today, um, it's good to see you all. And it's good to be back, first of all. Um, I've had my good start on Love Island, I've had my lovely missus over there sitting next to my dad. Um, everything's going good, you know, life's good. So young, so, you know, there's no time for hot negative energy. Just need to enjoy it. Take the time and do what you want to do. But I'm back now, I'm back home, and I feel at home when I'm in that square circle. How have the pair of you coped with the fame which has come as a result of that? Because you know, you became household names, instantly recognisable faces. Yeah, I think you know, fame is one thing, but it's how it's how you cope with it. You know, you can let it go to your head, you can run around with it thinking you're too good for everybody. But in hindsight, you're the same as everybody. A few more people want to take a picture and a few more people want your, your signature on a piece of paper. It's nothing more than nothing less. I'm still the same man I am before the even the Island even came about. You know, I'm only doing now what I was doing way back in 2018 when I was a 19-year-old lad getting ready to fight on the other guy at Josh Warrington for Carpenter. So, you know, I've just come back to basics. You know, everything, don't get me wrong, life changed, life's great. But I've still got the same circle around me, I'm still the same man. That's the truth, just keep level headed. I was going to say, keeping your feet on the ground because it's obviously brought you a few quid and it would be very easy to lose perspective. Yeah, definitely. You know, there's a lot of avenues that I could have took to go down um, since you know doing Love Island, doing all the rest of it, but you got to ask yourself when you're doing all these other things, you know, are they making you happy and do you really want to do this? You know, the TV is great, don't get me wrong, it's great, but I feel at home and I'm the happiest when I'm fighting because fighting runs through my blood, it's in my family. And as my dad always says, what's in you will come out of you. I'm a fighting man and I'm here to prove that December 21st. How much are you looking forward to actually getting back into the ring now? Presumably you're back in training. Yeah, I've been back in training for a few weeks now. Um, I've been training my heart out because for the last few months I've had, I'm going to need to. I've been in them clubs calling, getting home at 7 in the morning, watching the sun court with a bottle of beer in my hand. So <laughs> I'm going to have to do some training now, aren't I? But at the end of the day, it's nothing more, nothing less. It's nothing that I've done before. I've prepared for a fight before. You know, I know what it takes and how much work it's for, and I'm doing that every day in the gym. I've got to ask you because obviously there's been such massive publicity over the weekend over the YouTube fight, KSI and uh, Logan. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Presumably, you don't want to be identified necessarily right alongside that. Yeah, you know, I watched that fight, you know, I tuned in, I thought I was lying on the bed, and I thought to myself, you know what? KSI has a ball fight for that, I mean. Molly says, yeah, 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 so no problem. I've got one, I've bought it, and I watched it. And I've got to say, I admire them both because it takes a man to step in between that rings and put the gloves on. But listen, I've heard KSI wants to keep fighting. He thinks himself as a fighting man. But if he wants a real fight, he knows where it's at. So I'm just saying now to KSI, if you want it, you know where it is. But make no mistake, I'm a fighting man, I'm here to fight, I'm here to get my career on track. So if that comes, it comes, but if it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not going past the 21st of December. And I'm here to fight, I'm here to show everybody that I can fight. I'm not just a reality TV star doing this for a bit of a promotion, doing this for a bit of money. That's not me. I've been earning my stripes in the gym day in and day out since I was a six year old boy. Running, putting the miles in on the road. I'm here to play about. You can't play at boxing. I'm here to fight and show that I'm a fight man and I mean business. So, what did you think about those two? What did you think about the standard of what was produced? Do you know what? You know, they've had no, you got to look at it this way, they've had no boxing experience yet, limited. They've sold out the Staples Centre. They've done a 10 week training camp, they've trained the balls off, right? They've got to the ring and they've had a fight in front of a big crowd. A lot of people talk about boxing behind keyboards, talk about it on the computers, but 
these men have trained and they've gone and had a fight together. They've been in a live fight in front of millions of people. So you can only commend people like that because it takes a man to get inside the ring. And I, I have the most respect for guys I know before because I know how hard this job is. And for them to get in the ring and do it at the best of their, at the best of their abilities, you can't do nothing but commend them. Frank, how far do you believe uh, Tommy can go and what his future is going to be over the next 12 months? Well, it'd be much, it'd go much further than KSI, that's for sure. But he's got a great future in front of him. He's dedicated, he, 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 he can fight. Um, he's not going to be rushed. He's got a lot of pressure on him. You know, what he's done through you know, the Love Island and, and what that's brought to him, the exposure for, that, that also brings a lot of pressure on him. So he's, you know, he's quite mature enough and confident enough to deal with that. But it's, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's not going to be fast tracked. There's no fast tracking in here. He's got a career and we're going to work hard on it, and he's going to work hard on it. He wants to be a fighter, as he said, he's been in the gym from the age of six, training and working. So it's my job to deliver him, and my job to help guide him and get him to a position where he can achieve all his dreams. And I will do that, provided he, de provided he keeps his side of the bargain by training hard. You know, you've got to look at him, you know he's working out, he's, he's, he's done that all the time. Provided he does that, then we're all, we'll be ready to go. Do you know how many Twitter and Instagram followers you've got? Uh, yeah, uh, I've got a healthy amount. Got a healthy amount. So, uh, tell us the numbers. Okay, so 12 months ago, I was sitting in the same place now. Um, I was known at my local kebab shop, that's about it. Um, I had 3,000 followers, and now I'm pushing on for 3 million followers. <laughs> 3 million? 3 million, yes. Um, listen, do you know what it is? Well, it's probably all pass you by, you know. You can even let it go to your head thinking, oh, 3 million followers and this and that, oh, I'm too good for you. Well, in hindsight, I'm still the little boy who's grown up in Salford. I'm nothing different. I'm coming to the gym whenever I see a fighter going around here. If I see a man who's won the British title, I'll say, oh, have a look, there's a fellow who won the British title, or oh, there's the European champion. I don't think I'm too good for anybody. I'm a little boy here yeah, who's, who's had no experience in boxing, and me, I'm trying to do the best that I can, and hopefully take a few fans with me. That's it, nothing more, nothing less. And if uh, just a handful of those, a tiny proportion, yeah. come and see you, Copper Box is going to be around. Yeah, for sure. I mean, as I said before, I don't want this to be a fight or like, oh yeah, I'm going to watch Tommy Fat, I'm going to a fight. I want this to be an event. You know, I want to bring a new audience to boxing. I believe that's what I'm doing. You know, a lot of people are going to be there on the 21st. I've never even looked at boxing game fight before. But I want it to be, oh, do you want to go to this event? You know, the ring walk was good. This was good. That was good. You know, there's a lot more to boxing than meets the eye. You know, it's not about, you know, just fighting well. There's another side to boxing. It's also show business. So you've got to have that little bit extra for people to make, for, to make people want to come and see me fight. Because people seen it all before. You know, I was training camp going, yeah, 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 it's going good, mate. Yeah, so I'm, yeah, 12 rounds firing, whatever you want. But people want to see that extra bit. What does Molly May think of you fighting? Molly loves it. She loves it. She's watching me on YouTube all the time. She, I see her in the morning, yeah. She might not admit it now, but every morning she gets out of the shower, she's throwing combinations in the mirror. I'm popping my head in the room. I'm looking around and I'm thinking, all right, you thought you the double jab right and left up then. Fast as well, sure. So, uh, women's boxing, I'd, uh, I'd look out. <laughs> so, she's, she's, right, she's right behind you on this. Oh, so. yeah. Right behind. I couldn't ask anything more. She's so supportive of me. You know, she's definitely never wanted a woman. And you've, uh, you've set up home together in Manchester? Yeah. I'm not going to lie, John. Life's good. Um, you know, we're living together. I'm getting on my training. Everything's in proportion. I've got the right people around me. You know, my dad, my mum, my team. You know, everything, everything's just perfect. I can't ask for anything more. So all I need to do now is put the work in the gym, perform on the 21st, and we go again. And Frank, with uh, Daniel topping the bill, we'll be hearing from Daniel Dubois shortly, but uh, you know, you're putting together a terrific bill of which he's an integral part. He certainly, he certainly is. We're, I'm delighted that you know, he's back in the ring again. He's a really nice, really nice guy to be working with, and I've got a lot of time for John, although he gives me a, although he gives me a hard time. Gives me a hard time. I have to watch me P's and Q's. <laughs> uh, no, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's great. You know, it's great and I'm, I'm delighted he's there. And we're going to announce another time of fights that will be on the card. It's, it's going to be a cracking card. Good Christmas, Christmas uh, present for the fans. Do you anticipate the big lad coming along to support you? Tyson? Yeah, for sure, definitely. Um, you know, he was, at, he was at the last one in Leicester. And, you know, we, we make time, don't we, at the end of the day, you know, when we come to each other's fights. And there's, there's nothing more than looking to inside Aaron Tyson there because obviously if I can do half as well as Tyson's done in boxing, that'd be enough for me. 
because he, you know, I've been the best ever in the world there watching him. You know, just everything that you want to achieve in boxing is sat right there inside. You know, it makes you want to push on it, it makes you want to go the extra round, it makes you want to put the extra combination together, dig deep through the tough rounds. And that's why, you know, it's nice to see him there. But all my family, you know, when everyone's there, I put the hard, week, hard weeks in a training camp, I want to fight. It's just nice that everybody's there, it means everything to me, and I can show them how hard I've been working in the gym. I've got to throw another one in, which obviously is a talking point, which people are going to want to hear your thoughts on wrestling. Yeah. Tyson going over and taking part in those big showbiz events. What are your thoughts on those? My thoughts on them is why not? You know, Tyson's a worldwide, you know, superstar. You can't say he's not. You know, and he's doing MMA, he's doing the boxing, he's doing the wrestling. Why not? You only live once. Tomorrow's promised to nobody. So you've got to take them opportunities while they're there. And let's have it right. You know, when he goes to the WWE, I was there in Manchester the other day. Tyson came out, Braun Strowman came out. It was the biggest thing there. You know, you've had wrestling wrestling for 25 years, dedicated their whole life to it, and Tyson comes up, sells out the arena, and everybody's there for them to, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he's a big attraction. I can see why he's doing all these things, you know, it's, it's great, you know, the WWE is great publicity for over there in America. It's great to do. MMA, he's already fighting man, why not? Keeps him in shape. Would you do it? Now, even, be tag team? even before boxing, I can tell you this, I was like, oh, I want to be like John Cena, I want to be like Brock Lesnar, I want to be like The Rock. I would take the rest of it in because I wrestle. That's what I wanted to do all along. So listen, I'm going to take care of my business on the boxing side, and then whatever comes afterwards, we'll have to attempt to do that. Right, so lastly then, you, you obviously you alluded to it earlier, you know, your dad was a fighter, you come from a fighting family, yeah. going way back, bare knuckle fighters as well, going back into time. What, you, you know, five years from here, what is your ambition? Where would you like to be? I mean, it's hard to say. Uh, I, take, I take every day as it comes, but I can tell you my ambitions in boxing, and I've said it time and time, getting camps interviews. I wouldn't be in boxing if I couldn't reach the top. Especially not now, there's a lot of avenues I could take. Boxing is a hard, hard sport, hardest sport in the world. If I didn't think or believe in myself I could be a world champion, I wouldn't do it. I would not do it. And so, my future goals in boxing is to be the undisputed world champion. People might say, yeah, he's talking stupid, he'll never get there. But every great champion that's been, has been young. Every great champion that's been has said they want to do that. You know, uh, with well, Avis Fools as well. You know, life is what you make it. And I believe in myself and I back myself and it's to anybody you get in the ring with. And one day, I'm 20 years old, had two fights, where's the rush? One day, I'll be holding all them belts and we'll look back on this moment. Frank, you'll be uh, guiding, guiding his career, I guess. And having the right people around to put the right fights together to see him progress through the ranks. From a promotional point of view, though, he's going to be a dream, isn't he? Well, he is. You know, there's no doubt about that. He's come in, uh, he came into the sport being a, 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 the, the brother of Tyson. Now he's his own man. He's made his name elsewhere, hasn't he? He's made his name in the, and he's very well known. As he said, three million people are following him on Twitter. So that speaks for itself. He's got a great, great opportunity now to, to go and deliver, to show the world what he's got as a boxer. And if, if ambition and desire gets you there, he'd get there. There's no doubt about it, because he wants it. Well, we'll do uh, some photographs, no doubt, in a moment, and we'll have Daniel coming in shortly. But before then, I'm sure Tommy will do one-on-one -on -one interviews with those of you who want them. But any, uh, any questions from the floor at all? Speak up. Don't rush. No? Okay. Well, we'll do some, uh, we'll do some pictures afterwards, no doubt with Daniel as well. Yeah. But uh, wishing you well on the 21st. It's going to be good commentating on you as a fighter. Pleasure. Thanks for having me and uh, everyone look forward to the 21st of December. Okay. Thank you very much. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to do it? Yes, can do, yeah. <laughs>